the 14th generation Ford F-150 is full of tech innovations. When Ford introduced it last year, it bragged about the hybrid powertrain and the tech updates. But for truck enthusiasts, one question was on their mind. Where's the Raptor? Well, it's right here. This is the 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor, and from its all new suspension to its 37 inch tires to its active exhaust, it's a more capable, more aggressive, desert running pickup truck. While Ford doesn't break out Raptor sales as their own items on a sales report, there's little arguing that this high performance pickup has been an overwhelming success for the company. In fact, Ford claims, without providing exact numbers, mind you, that over the last four years, the Raptor has outsold the Chevrolet Corvette as well as the Porsche 911 and 718 lines. But that success has also spawned competitors, such as the new Ram TRX. Here's what Ford is doing to address that new rival. If you were hoping for dramatic changes from F-150 to Raptor, well, you got them. If you were hoping for dramatic changes from second generation Raptor to third, though, we have some bad news. Much like the F-150, the Raptor takes a very gentle, evolutionary approach to its redesign, although certain elements, like the revised side grills and beefier hood, complete with power dome, set it apart as clearly as the flared wheel arches and available 37-inch rubber. Ford says elements such as the hood's heat extractor and side vents draw inspiration from the F-22 Raptor stealth fighter jet, but that description feels charitable. In back, new taillights join the tailgate's familiar applique and badging. Still, overall design remains as cool and muscular as ever. Ford isn't announcing power figures for the new Raptor yet, but hiding behind this in-your-face grill is a twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6 engine. Last year's truck produced 450 horsepower and 510 pound-feet of torque. But even if power figures haven't changed for 2021, there is a new equal-length exhaust with four exhaust modes. This truck is going to sound better than ever before. Here, have a listen for yourself. things that separate the Raptor from the normal F-150, but none more so than the suspension. This truck has super long trailing arms and a factory panhard rod as part of its all new Raptor specific five link rear end. There are Fox shocks and 24 inch coil springs for high speed desert running. And of course these brutish 37 inch BF Goodrich KO2 tires and beadlock capable wheels. Ford is not messing around with this suspension. The Raptor's terrain management system packs seven distinct driving modes, slippery, tow haul, sport, normal, and off-road come from the F-150, while Baja and Rock Crawl ensure the Raptor can handle even more of the wilderness. Each drive mode makes the usual tweaks, adjusting the active dampers, throttle mapping, transmission behavior, increasing or decreasing the volume on the active exhaust, and even adjusting the look of the digital instrument cluster. And once out on the trail, the Raptor packs some of the same innovations found in other Ford off-roaders, such as trail control. On the broader tech front, the F-150's SYNC 4 infotainment system and over-the-air updates are coming to the Raptor as well. At first blush, the Raptor's cabin doesn't appear all that different from the standard F-150's. You'll find the same enhancements as the standard truck, from a big 12-inch touchscreen infotainment system to an increased emphasis on material quality. In terms of Raptor-specific items, though, the steering wheel adopts an orange strip of leather at 12 o'clock, while the metal paddle shifters come straight from the GT Supercar and Shelby GT500. Recaro seats are available too, although you'll have to surrender the F-150's neat max reclined seating option. Carbon fiber trim on the dash and anodized orange American flags at each end round out the modest but purposeful cabin changes. The third generation Raptor will be the first to introduce a new R variant, which will go on sale next year but we don't know a great deal about that yet. Ford was quick to point out that the sound of the new active exhaust was behind all the reports of a V8 powered Raptor. So the announcement of an R model doesn't automatically mean an eight cylinder is coming, as cool as that would be. That said, Ford has had plenty of success boosting the output of its twin turbo V6. So there's little reason to think the Raptor R won't be something seriously potent when it arrives. The 2021 Raptor is like the normal truck, a huge step forward from its fully revised suspension to the number of powertrain and tech updates, it is a better truck than ever before. For more on that and all things Raptor, check out MotorOne.com and be sure to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and wherever you get your social media.